Hey, what's up? Quattro here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to make your voice sound a little bit better using a free software called Audacity. Uh, now you can download Audacity from audacity.sourceforge.net, and it's a free open source cross platform software for recording and editing sounds. Well, I just read it off here. Anyway, it's free, and anyone can use it. It doesn't matter if you're on Linux or Windows or whatever. Uh, should be fine. So um, this is what I use to edit my voice into a little bit of uh, radio cream that you uh, all know and love. So uh, let's get uh, let's take a look at the uh, original sound clip that we're gonna be editing today. Uh, I'm not gonna provide this one, but you can always record your own with a mobile phone or whatever, and uh, have have a try it yourself. So uh, this is what my voice sounds like originally. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. Now you're probably wondering why I left a lot of empty space here. Well, basically this is just noise. I'm gonna be using this as a noise profile to remove the noise and make my audio sound a little clearer. So uh, let's get cracking with it. If you don't know how to import your audio file, into Audacity, all you gotta do is just drag and drop. So, and uh, I usually just read from the original, it's just faster that way. So, uh, first things first, what I usually do is I remove, I have two tracks, uh, one is gonna be our bass track and the other one is gonna be our uh, high pass track. And uh, it's just the way my voice sounds better. Uh, I'm just gonna show you my way. If you find that uh, you, ha you need to use different settings or you don't like it, feel free to experiment. It's all about experimentation. Never follow tutorials step by step. Think about it. Anyway, so uh, first off, I'm gonna prepare the bass line. So uh, what I want to do is I want to go. I want to select a portion of uh, like an empty portion with just noise in it, and I'm gonna click on Effect and um, noise removal and I'm gonna click on get noise profile it works in two steps first you select just the noise get the noise profile then you select the whole audio and uh, remove the noise so I'm gonna get the noise profile from these uh, five seconds of noise then I'm gonna select the whole audio file I'm gonna affect noise removal and Defaults sound pretty good, They're clean and everything, so I'm just gonna click OK. And uh, it takes a little while. If you have a longer clip, like half an hour clip, like I sometimes do, it takes like a minute or two to remove all the noise. But uh, now it just sounds clean. Nothing in it, and the voice is not distorted or anything. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. There you go easy so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the audio clip and I'm gonna go effects bass boost and uh, I usually go about three something and uh, you can preview it if you want or you can just click OK uh, I'm gonna show you how the preview uh, sounds so I'm just gonna select this portion here uh, effect bass boost go around there Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. So you can play around with it. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. So let me just leave it around 350 or so. I'm gonna click OK. It's fine. So the baseline is pretty much ready. I'm just gonna give it my uh, negative gain just to uh, silence it a little bit more. So I'm gonna unmute the second track. This is our original track. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the whole clip. I'm gonna go effects and uh, high pass filter. And uh, I usually select about 4-4 four, four which is a good frequency for my voice. Again, you need to experiment. I'm gonna click OK, and it just kind of shrinks the whole thing down. So what I do, what I usually do next is I just go to Effect and Amplify, 
And uh, I don't allow flipping, but you know, and just say okay. And this is what it sounds like then. Hey, what? Oops, I just gotta mute this one. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. But as you can see, we didn't remove the noise for this one. The reason being is uh, when I do a high pass filter, uh, the noise just kind of pops back up if you remove it uh, before applying the high pass. So uh, I'm just going to remove it right now when it's freshly changed. So I'm going to go to noise removal, get noise profile, noise remove. Oops, select the whole clip, effect, noise removal, click OK. So uh, now it should be fine. Hey, what's up? There you go. So if you if we select both. Hey, what's up? Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. It's kind of okay. Probably needs a little bit more boost in the bass. Hey, what's up? Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. It depends, it depends on what you like, really. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. Hey, what's up, Quattro here, and this is a test audio file for Audacity. And then when you're happy with the results, just go to File, Export, choose where, where you want to export and that's about it and uh, if you want to uh, see the comparison of what the original sounds like uh, as opposed to this one here's a little taste hey what's up Quattro here and this is a test audio file for audacity hey what's up Quattro here and this is a test audio file for audacity so that's the way to do it. Um, now for the baseline, uh, you can also go to effect and the low pass filter. That, that does pretty much the same, well, not the same, but uh, kind of a different bassy voice thing. Uh, I used, to, I, I kind of alternate between like low pass and uh, bass boost. That's kind of a interesting way to do it. Well, um, Anyway, so when you're done, just import that into your video and you're pretty much done. So you can use this for tutorials, for narratives, for whatever. Um, and you know, just think outside the box. This tutorial actually explain to you how to remove the noise as well. So say you have a noise, some noise in your audio and you want to make it sound a little bit more professional. Uh, that's that's how you do it. It's really simple. Just before the recording, make sure to leave like a few seconds. It doesn't need to be like six seconds like I've left now, but uh, you know, just to illustrate, you can leave like one second or two seconds. That's absolutely plenty for noise profiles, and it works pretty well. Uh, of course, the more the merrier. Just don't go overboard with it. Just you know, leave a couple of seconds. Um, so there you go, that's about it for today, so like a quick one, so I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we will see you next time.